Hi everyone. Hello everyone. Hello. 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 Good evening. Hi everyone. Good evening, teacher. Hey, how are you guys? How was your vacation? Very good. It was very excellent. good. Tell me, it was excellent. Excellent. Where, uh, where did you go? How the fueron? Where did you go? Did you go to the beach? The you went to, to the Hawaii? beach. You went to the beach? Yeah, that's very nice. Did you eat a cocktail? Did you swim? House. Uh, <laughs> in your house? You were relaxing uh, in your house. Yes. <laughs> okay, but then you watch movies. Did you watch movies? Did you just stay at, at home? That means you watch movies. Yes? You watch Netflix. No, Netflix. Netflix. Yes. 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 Watch series. <laughs> but that's good series, right? We have good series also. <laughs> that is nice. It's very nice to see you one more time, one more night. Welcome back. You ready with more energies to continue? Yes? With energies? Yes. Yes? Yes. Excellent. That's good. Let's remember that we were studying about the numbers. Do you remember? We studied numbers? Yes. Yes. Multiplication? Yes. Okay. So, did you watch the video? Pudieron ver el video? Yes. Did you watch it? Okay. That's good. Now, to remember yes. about the numbers, we're going to have some practice here. And let's remember here about we have 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Then we have 101. 102, 103, 104, 105, and continue with the routine, right? So you continue until 105, 106, until 100. And also you can have until 999, then you're finishing 1,000, like mil, right? This will be 1,000. So let's continue to remember. Now, as you have this, we are going to practice with some numbers, like to refresh your mind. For example, tell me, let's see, Aaron, tell me what number is this? Twelve. Twelve, excellent, that's good. Blanca, what number is this? Uh, Sixteen. 15. 15. 15. Very 15. good. That's nice. Sandra Margarita. What number is this? 23. Excellent. Very good. Sachi, what number is this? Sachi? Sachi Jamilet, are you there? Are you present? Rebecca? Rebecca Vanessa? What number is this? Seven. I'm oh, sorry, can you repeat? 67. 67, excellent, that's good. All right, now let's see. Sandra Margarita. What number is this? 76. 76, very good. Let's continue here. Juan Alberto, what number is this? Sixty-five. Sixty-five. Excellent. That's good. Maria Emilia. What number is this? Is the thirty-three. Thirty-three. Very good job. That's nice. 
right? Let me see. Can you Vanessa? What number is this? Kenya? The microphone, please. 1180. 20? 8. 20, 8. 20, 8. 28. 28. 28. Right. Excellent. That's good. Judy, I think. What number is this? 8. 8. 8. 8. 8. 8. 8. 8. 8. 8. 42. Excellent. That's good. Nettie, what number is this? 51. 51. Excellent. Fernando, what number is this? 89. Perfect. That's all right. Gabriela Abigail. What number is this? 103. 103. Excellent. That's correct. Now let's see. Adalisa. What number is this? 105. Excellent. Right. So Chidjamilet. What number is this? Wait, oh, sorry. Is this? Mm. Yeah. 98. 98. Perfect. That's all right. Ariel Enriquez. What number is this? 76. 70? Six. Five. Five. Five, five, five. Very good. So what number is it? Repeat it, please. Seven, five. Seventy-five. Seventy-five. That's correct. Good one. Okay. Now that we saw this one, we are going to check about the age. In the case of the age, you need to conjugate the verb to be. So remember that we mentioned the last time that is not correct, like to say, I have 25 years old. No, right? Because we don't possess the age. We don't possess like uh, the years. But in what we are, es lo que somos, right? Lo que representamos. Por eso utilizamos el verb to be. No el verbo tener. So here you have to be plus age. And we have examples here. But let's see the formula. We have to be plus number plus years old. So this is the formula, the structure that you have. For example, I am 23 years old. That years old is the edad. You are 16 years old. Gabriela, continue please. He is. Gabriela? He is 32, 32? years old. 32? 32. Right. Years old. Very good job. Nice. As Ali said, continue. Mary? Mary is 45 years old. Excellent. That's all right. And we have another rule here. It says years old is optional. You can say I am 18 years old or I am 18. So I have those options like that. Podemos incluir. As the years old, que es lo más formal, pero también podemos mencionar hasta la edad. So you can say, I am 18 years old, or I am 18. It's two options. But years plus old are always together. They're always together. So never separate years with old. So it's, for example, it's correct to say, I am 21. Tengo 21. That's okay. I am 21 years, not correct. I am 21 years old, that is correct. So the checks in green, they are correct. But this one, the red cross, that's not correct to use it. So let's see here. You can write the age as numbers or as words. Se puede escribir tanto con número como en letras. It's the same case. I am 12 years old. 
or I am 12 years old. Pronunciation the same. Only when you write it is that one is with numbers and the other one is with letters. Now, here we have some examples. Uh, can you, Fernando, can you read this one, please? He is? He is 40 years old. Years old, years old. Years old. Very good, thank you. Adali said, continue here. She is? Ada, Adali said? Hola. Hello. She is? 36. 36. Very good. Yes. Let's observe here. That is not necessary to say she is 36 years old. That's correct. Puede terminar hasta el número. That's good. Okay. Continue. Sochi, please. Continue. The boy. Um. Okay. Um, the boy is 12. 12. Excellent. That's good. Continue. Ariel Enriquez. The baby. The baby is five months old. Old, that's good. This is in the case of a baby. <laughs> in the case of the baby, it's not years, right? Aún no tiene años de edad, pero tiene meses de edad. So, básicamente, ese old se traduce como la edad. So, no se traduce como viejo, ¿verdad? Cinco meses de viejo. 25 years old, right? No, but days de edad. Good. Now let's see the next one. Continue. Juan Alberto, please. The dog. Juan Alberto. The microphone, please. Juan Alberto. Se escucha. María Emilia. Hola, hola. Hello, hello. Okay, can you read this one, please, Juan, Juan Alberto? The dog is? The dog is years, three, is three years. Year, years old. That's correct, it's three years old, that's good. So look at that here also in animals, right? También está da para animales porque también cumplen. Eight años, right? Now let's see. Let's continue. Nelly, please. We continue with this. The grandfather is 21 years old. 71. 71. <laughs> Very good. 71 years old. That is good. All right. Good one. Blanca, continue, please. He is. Yo siempre. Yes, please. Blanca. Blanca, Blanca. Sí. Is Blanca? Okay. This one. He sí. is. He is. 40. Uh -huh. 40 years old. Years old. Very good. Yes. Okay. Now let's observe here that it says with babies, you can use months instead of years. Instead of means en lugar de. En lugar de años, ya que solo tienen meses cumplidos. Incluso días de nacido. Then you use days, days old. Like two days old, dos días de edad. Right? So it depends on the time. Also. For example, the baby is four months old. She is nine months old. So no year, no in the moment. Be careful. In English, we use the verb to be and not another verb. It's what I mentioned before. I have 18? No, not correct. I have 18 years? Not correct. I have 18 years old? Not correct either. Correct. I am 18 years old or I am 18. That's two forms are correct. Now, how we formulate the question. You investigate the age by asking, how old are you? <laughs> and then you pronounce, am, um, si es contracción, si no, pues, recordemos que también puede ser de manera completa, like I am. And you put the number of the years. For example, if you say, I am 30 years old, I am 20 years old. So let's practice it. 
Let's see, Nevi. Nevi, how old are you? I am 42 years old. Excellent, very good. Adalisette, how old are you? I am 26 years old. Very good job, nice. Nevi, you formulate the question to Juan Alberto. Formulate the question, how old are you? How old are you? How old? How old are you? How old are you? That's good. Juan Alberto, answer please. Permítanme que se me ha trabado la compu. It's okay, no problem. No logro, no logro ver bien las, las oraciones. The sentences. Is the question, how old are you? Let me check. We can make it bigger. And now, yeah, what? Ahora sí, ¿cuál es? How old are you? I am? I, I am 32 years old. 32? 32 years old. That's all right. Yes, 32 years old. Good one. Blanca Rosa, you formulate the question to Ariel Hernandez. Eh, for... How old are you? How old are you? How old, how old are you? That's right, yes, thank you. Ariel Enriquez, answer please. Ariel, hello, are you present? Este, quiero ver, no me acuerdo, no me acuerdo muy bien, teacher. Okay, like this. Pero... Sigamos esta estructura de acá, like I am, como la pregunta es, how old are you? ¿Qué edad tiene? No, no, o sea, yo me, re, me, me pre, pronunciar el, el nombre, el número en inglés, o sea, ah, 25. Ah, 25, 25. 25. <risa> okay, now say I am 25. I am. I you am. are old. Okay, let's pronounce it. I am. I am. I am. I am. Ajá. I am. Good. 25. 25 years old. Old. Very good. That's correct. Good one. Okay. Maria Emilia, you formulate the question to Kenya Vanessa. How old? How old? How old, old, how old, old are you? That's good. How old are you? Kenya Vanessa? I am. 26 years old. 26 years old. All right. That's good. Gabriela, you formulate the question to Judy Edith. How old are you? Mm -hmm. How old are you, Judith? I am 28. Yes, is that 28? 28? 30. Oh, 30. Oh, okay, 38 years old. Years old. Very good job. That's nice. Okay, now, Aaron, you formulate the question to Sandra Margarita. How old are you? How old are you? I'm 22 years old. I'm 22 years old. Excellent. That's good. Okay, now let's see. Adam, you said formulate the question to Rebecca Vanessa. How old are you? Mm -hmm. I'm 25 years old. Very good job, nice. Fernando, now you formulate the question to Rafael Aguilar. How old are you? Mm -hmm. Great. Rafael? I am 32 30, years old. 32? 32? 32? Years old. Years old. Good one. Brian, formulate the question to Sandra Guadalupe. Brian? Hi, hi. Hello, hello. hello. Formulate the question. Hello. hello okay. How, how are you? How old? How old are you? 
that's good. Okay, Sandra. Sandra Guadalupe. Sandra, are you present? Ella puso un mensaje que no podía contestar, Miss. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. Good. Not a problem. All right. Thank you. Now, let's say Sochil. Sochil, then how old are you? <clears throat> I am 18 years old. 18 years old. Very good. Yes. Okay. Now, Ariel, you formulate the question to Rebecca Vanessa. Oh. How old? old. For, how old? How old are you? Mm -hmm. How old, old, old are, you? are you? I am 27. 27. Very good. That's correct, guys. Very good job. Congratulations. That's good. Okay. Now, as we have that, let's practice it. We have. Time to practice this. Now we remember the numbers and with the age. Now let's see with this one. Here, bigger. And let's check. How old are they? So we're going to look at the people and their birthday cakes and complete the sentences. Let's start with the first one. Tell me about this little child this is joy he and how do you complete this baby joy he he is is excellent he is i'm sorry one more Mm. Ah, look, one more. Look at the candle. <laughs> <laughs> one more. Do you think it's one more? I Stop want sentado. One year old. <laughs> one year old, right? Yes, porque está sentadito, mire. De un beso se va a poder ah, sentar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> bueno, que ahora los niños vienen más despiertos, ¿verdad? <laughs> so it's one year old. Old. But it's only one year. As it's only one year, you don't need to put years. I can't know why years porque no es plural. Solo es un año. It's one year old. Now let's see this one. These are my friends, Tom and Sam. They and how do you complete? What is the correct form? Remember, you need to use the verb to be. Conjugate the verb to be. Are. Are. Perfect. Are. That's good. Uh -huh. They are. are. Uh -huh. Now you need to count the candles. Aquí contar las velas. Count the candles. How many? They are 15 years old. Perfect. That's good. 15 years old. Remember that you can put in numbers too, right? 15 years old. All right, that's very good. 15 year old. Let's go ahead with the next one. This is Amy. She is is excellent. Seven years old. Seven years old. Perfect. Seven years. Years old. Old. Very good. Seven years old. All right. This is Benjamin. Tell me, he? He is. Excellent. He is? Nine years old. Nine years old. Perfect. Nine years old. Very good. Okay. What about the Miss. next one? Yes. Tell me. En ese caso ya no es necesario entonces es pronunciar el, el pronombre. Ya no, ya no se lo colocamos, solamente yes, el... It is. No, aquí se me fue, se me fue. No, look, 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 look. What happened is that here it is. Acá está. Sí. Lo que ah, pasa es que acá está. Arriba. está. Les da uh -huh. el sujeto yes. acá. Yo dije, uy, me lo comí acá. No. Solo... <ríe> está acá. Thank Como you. ya le da el pronombre acá, ya solo lo completamos. Todo, sí. uh -huh. solo está colocando el complemento. Ajá. 
It's only the complement. What about the next one? We have, this is Mrs. Taylor. You have Mrs., right? No Mr. It's no Mr. Mr. is en el caso de un señor. Es un hombre. Pero en el caso de una señora, entonces lleva Mrs. La señora Taylor. Mrs. Taylor. So what is the complement? Is. is excellent. Uh -huh. Is. Uy, se desconectó la clase, quizá. A la Pero teacher no, se le, no, 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 le quedó no, no, no. trabado el, el internet. Está verificando el micrófono. Sensible. Y también me dice que voy a Now, can you hear? ¿Se escucha? Sí. Yes. Ahora yes. Sí. Yes. Yes. Okay, yes. that's why I say, uy, nadie me escucha. Sí. <laughs> Quedamos solos. Yeah, what happened, I say. <laughs> okay, guys. Now, we have this one that she is, right? She is 60 years old. What about Alfred? This is Alfred. He... Three years old, right? Excellent. We got three months. Three, sorry. three months. No, mm. Moms, miss. Can be three months. Three months. Three months. It's possible, right? Yes, it's true. Un montón de almohadas atrás. Yeah, yeah. It's a possibility, yes. <laughs> Three months old. Yeah, very good job, guys. Nice. Three months. No, old. Three años. Se sienten tan tranquilos. Ah, yes. Hasta me corriendo, right? They are running, yeah, por todas partes, everywhere. Now, let's check this one. We have three more, and we're going to assign names. For example, the girl. Let's suppose that the girl's name is Sally. Let's investigate. How old is Sally? How old is Sally? Tell me. This is Sally. Okay, you can say this is Sally. Now, the answer, the answer. How old is Sally? He is 14 years old. She, right? Is 14, 14 years old. Very good. 14 years old. Perfect. Okay. Now let's suppose that this is Robert. Now let's investigate. How old is Robert? How old is Robert? He's 35, he is, he is, I, 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 Years old. Yay, she's five years old. Five. Thank you, go bye. <laughs> oh my goodness, I put two. <laughs> five, thank you. She's five years old. That's good. Okay, now we're going to repeat it. Let's see. Alejandra Margarita, let's repeat it. How old is Sally? Repeat. Alejandra? Are you here? Rafael? How 
Sally, Sally, Rafael. Rafael. Hola. Hi, hi. How old is Sally? The answer, she's? Is she? She's? She's? She is. Fourteen. Years fourteen. Old, huh? fourteen. Ah, fourteen. Fourteen. The years case of old. Sally. Sally. Uh -huh. Fourteen years oh, okay. old. Okay. Fourteen okay. years old. That's good. Brian, how old is Robert? He is thirteen years old. Thirty-five. Thirty-five years old. Very good. That's nice. So chill. How old is Federica? She is five years old. She's five years old. That's good. Okay, now let's do another practice. But first, we're going to pass the list, guys. Vamos a pasar la list. Okay, you inform me if you are present. Let's see, Aaron Alberto. Present teacher. Thank you. Ada Lisette? Ada Lisette? Present. Thank you. Alejandra Margarita? Alejandra? Margarita? Present, dice. Thank no, you, no. Thank you. Ah, yes, because she's yes, yeah, it's true. Thank you, thank you. Ariel Alexandra. Present. Thank you. Blanca Rosa. Present. Thank you so much. Brian Reve. Present. Thank you. Douglas Eriberto. Douglas Eriberto. Elmer Edenilson. Elmer Edenilson. Fernando de Jesus. Present. Thank you. Gabriela Abigail. Present. Thank you. Jocelyn Susana. Jocelyn Susana. Juan Alberto. Present. Thank you so much. Kenia Vanessa. Present. Thank you. Maria Emilia. Present. Thank you. Maria Emilia. Yes. Marisol Elizabeth. Marisol Elizabeth. No. Kenya Vanessa. Kenia Vanessa. Thank you. Nevi Solina. Present me. Thank you. Rafael Antonio. Present. Thank you so much. Rebecca Vanessa. Present. Thank you. Sandra Guadalupe. Sandra Guadalupe. Está escribiendo me. Okay. Present. Thank, you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Sandra Margarita. Present. Thank you. Sochi Yamilet. Present. Thank you. And Judy Edith. Present. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you very, very much. All right. Then let's go on. All right. So let's practice it. Let's continue here formulating more questions. But now, let's investigate about other persons. With other persons, we are going to ask here, for example, like this. What about if we investigate about friends, family? How old is your sister, for example? Adalisa, said, how old is your sister? My sister? Uh-huh, yes. 
Uh, she is 32 years wow. old. 32 years old, excellent. She is 32 years old. Perfect, very good. <laughs> Fernando, you formulate a question to Rafael Aguilar. You formulate like this, how old is, y complementamos con uh, alguna persona que usted quiera agregarle. Mm -hmm. How old is your father? How old is your sister? Your best friend? Bye. How old is your father? Excellent. How old is your father? He is um, uh, 16 years old. 16 years old. Excellent. That's good. Aaron, you formulate the question to Blanca. How old is? How old is Blanca? To Blanca. Formulamos la pregunta a Blanca. Y pregúntele a ella, how old is your father, your mother, your best oh, oh. friend? Mm -hmm. uh, how old is your mother? Mother, very good. She is uh, 64, 63. Okay, 63. Old. That's correct. Years 63, old. right? This number. Yes. Excellent. Very good job. Nice. Sandra Margarita, now you formulate the question to Brian. How old, How old is your dog? Excellent. How old is your dog? Perfect. My dog. Your dog. My dog, oh, um, <laughs> his my dog have my dog is remember uh, my dog my dog is, is ah, five years five years old okay that's good five years old that's good right good one Judy Edith you formulate the questions to Fernando de Jesus. How old is your best friend? Excellent. How old is your best friend? My be best friend, 22 years my old. My best friend is. My best friend is. My best friend, my best friend is 22 years old. Years old. Years old. Years old. Years old. Very good job. Nice. Kenia Vanessa, formulate the question to Alejandra Margarita. Oh. Oh. Sí, sí me escucho, sí. Ajá. Uh -huh. Yes, yes, we can listen. How, How old, old is your mom? Your mom, okay, that's good. How old is your mom? Yes, answer? Yes. Ajá, uh -huh. what's the answer? So, Chu? So, Chu, are you there? Are you present? Yes. Um, what? The answer. Repeat, please. Can you please repeat the question? How, how, old, how is old is your mom? Your mom. My mom. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Um, she is, um, uh -huh. she is, um, I can invent, but uh -huh. I forgot. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, 50, no, yes, 50. 50, is she 50 yes. years old? All right, yeah, that's good, right? good one. Now, Sandra Margarita. Ask the question to Adalice. Sandra Margarita, are you there? Are you present? Oh, no, sorry. Yes, okay. Adalice, you formulate the questions to, let me see, to Ariel Enriquez. 
Ariel, how old are you? How old are you? Okay, that how is a direct question. How old are you? Are you? Okay, that is a direct question. Ariel? She is 14 years old. In this case, it's direct question. Es que edad tiene usted, porque ya va con el sujeto you. How old are you? 25 you, you are old. That's good. So the answer is I am, right? I am. I am? Yeah. I am? I am. Uh -huh. 25 years old. Years old. Or. That's correct, yes. 25 years old. That's all right. Y es válido solo decir el, el número. Yes, perfect. You can also say like that to say I am 25. Mm -hmm. Como les mencionaba en el anterior, que eh, ambas son correctas, así como acá. Is like here. O solo, okay. o solo decir 25, así. Ah, and that's correct. Podemos finalizar hasta el número. O oh, si usted lo quiere decir como más completo, más ordenado, se incluye years old. Lo que es incorrecto es nada más llegar hasta years. Like, I am 21 years. Si utilizamos years, entonces tiene que ir acompañado de old. De lo contrario, llegamos hasta el número. Sí, es correcto. Es correct form. So we have, in this case, you say, I am 25 years old, or I am 25. Two options. You have two options here. Questions? Any question about this? Preguntas? Oh, no. No questions? Okay. We have the ages in that case. Now, let's remember some other questions. We have other type of questions. Remember that we have studied about yes, no question. So you investigate yes or no. So they are limited forms. But now in this case, you have the manner of WH. In the WH question words, you investigate a specific things. It depends what you want to investigate. Depends on what you want to investigate. For example, WH words, in the case of who, you investigate the person. So you have, it is used to ask about a person or people. Person, only one. People is plural, probably two or more persons. For example, who is your favorite actor? My favorite actor is Keanu Reeves. What about you, Nevi? Who is your favorite actor? Uh, my favorite actor is. <laughs> Do you have a favorite actor? No, tengo miss. You don't have really. Adam Sandler. <laughs> Adam Sandler is a good actor, comedy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Jason Statham. Oh, sorry. Favorite, my favorite actor is Jason Statham. Ah, okay, interesting. That's good. What about you, Gabriela? Who is your favorite actor? I'm sorry? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, it's Johnny Depp. <laughs> That's a good actor, yes. My favorite actor oh. is Adam Sandler. Adam Sandler, oh yes, you mentioned. You love comedy, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's very good movies. That's nice. And Rafael, you said uh, Johnny Depp, right? Yes. <laughs> My favorite actor is Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp, very good. So, what is your favorite movie by Johnny Depp? What is your favorite movie? Um, Agile. Um, um, Agile. Uh, hands. Um, uh, curing. Ah, uh, you mean the scissor hands? Yes, just so, yes. Oh, the scissor hands. El joven mano de tijera. 
<laughs> that's good. Actually, that's my favorite one. It's very old one, right? It's, I think it's from the 80s. The los 80, right? I think it's by the 80s. But yes. it's very, it's very, a very sad movie, right? It's a sad movie, but it's good. It's a very good movie. <laughs> Blanca, what yes. about you? Who is your favorite actor? My favorite is Sebastian Martinez. He's Colombian. Ah, he's Colombian. Colombia. Okay. Uh -huh. That's Colombia. Good. And, and what type of movies? What type of movies? Eh, Are they action, eh. comedies? Es, eh, no sé cómo se dice, pero es serie, palpito. Oh, it's a series. Ah, uh -huh. I have seen that series. Uh -huh. I just the Netflix. Palpito. Is that good Pal movie? That, it's a series, Excel. right? Excellent. <laughs> La recomiendo. I recommend it. Okay, I'm going to watch it on the, on the weekend, on Saturday. <laughs> That's good. Okay, we have the other case. Now, the next one is what? When we use what? When to investigate about things. So now, not persons, but things. It is used when asking for information. Yeah, basically, for example, when you ask, what is your telephone number? Or what is your favorite food? In my case, my favorite food is Chinese food. Candy, Ariel, what is your favorite food? Is it... Tacos. Uh -huh. Tacos. Tacos is your favorite food. Yeah, Mexican food. Delicious. Good. Maria Emily, what is your favorite food? Tacos. Tacos too. Everybody loves Mexican food here. Okay. Aro, what about you? What is your favorite food? Uh, my favorite food is um, Chinese. Chinese food. Chinese food, yeah, it's good. It's good food. Nice. Okay, now let's ask another question. What is your favorite song? What is song? Canción. 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 Yeah. All right. Judy Edith. What is your favorite song? Tengo una en específico. My favorite song. Mm -hmm. You don't have a specific one? No tengo una en específico. No, Me gustan muchas. You like a lot of them. Right? You don't muchas. discriminate. <laughs> you don't discriminate. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> what about Sandra? Sandra Margarita, what is your favorite song? My favorite song is Another Love. Another Love. Who is the singer? Who is the singer? Tom Hoddle. Oh, interesting. Very good. Okay. Kenya Vanessa, what is your favorite song? Kenya? Me, what is song? Canción. Oh, um, tengo mucha. Quiero ver. You have a lot. <laughs> Mention one, only one. Las. No sé cómo se dice balada en inglés. O sea. Ballad, ballad. But it's a song, it's a specific. Es una, eh, debe ser Ballad el nombre, el nombre específico. In English. Ballad in English, all oh. right? Ballad, ballad in English. Okay, so that would be like a specific. Also, you can ask about what is your favorite color, right? All of those. Now, let's see the next part. In the next one, you have when. What is when? Cuando, right? It is used to ask about the time or duration. So it's referring to time. For example, when is your birthday? Let's write here. When is your birthday? And you can say it's, yeah, remember you can use the subject it because you're referring to something. Como nos referimos a algo, en este caso es el cumpleaños, podemos utilizar sujeto it. Y le podemos contactar. It's on, in my case, it's on April 29. 
What about you? Maria Emilia, when is your birthday? It's My birthday is... Is. Podemos it's. mencionar. My birthday is o oh, simplemente is. It's. Uh, it's. Uh, April. April. Uh, it's on April. On April. Five. April. Five. Five. Very good. That's nice. Blanca, when is your birthday? Uh, eh, sería mi cumpleaños. Ajá, correct. It's eh, on... No sé, no sé, pues. It's. It's. It's on. It's. It's. On, así. Yes, it's correct. on junior, junior, June, junior, July. July, 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 Julio, July, sí. Okay, sí. July, July um, 22. Okay, on July 22. Yes, like this? Yes, yes. All right, very good, nice. What about Brian? Brian, when's your birthday? My birthday, my birthday is on November 22. On November 22, very good. So investigate about the time, right? It's about the time. What about where? Where it indicates or investigates about the area? Donde? It is used to ask about the location. Location means ubicación. Location? Hey, yes, tell me. Uh, are you question? Uh... I have a question. De que... I have a question. Okay. Eh, en el caso de, de decir, así como mencionó el compañero hace un momento, eh, podemos decir mi cumpleaños, o sea, my, 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 my birthday, birthday is, yes. my, my birthday is eh, July 1st. Mm -hmm. Yes, but if it's more Está specific... correcta la respuesta. Solo que hay que agregarle una preposición, que es esta de acá. Podemos decir, my birthday. Birthday. Is. Is. On. And you say, if it's. Um, July. Or July, or November, right? July. Ok. July 3, Earth. for example. Este, lo que pasa es que ese on lo utilizamos para dar también, no solo es una preposición del lugar, sino también de un tiempo específico. También se utiliza como palabra de tiempo. En este caso, como damos una fecha específica, lo utilizamos on. My birthday is on July 3. Si no ponemos esa preposición, está, es, es, es incorrecta la respuesta. Eh, no es que sea incorrecta, sino que sea incompleta. Siempre se, se entiende, solo que gramáticamente está inco, eh, incompleta. It's on July, porque es una fecha específica. Ok. Uh -huh. So it's more complete, Thank you. como más completa, más formal. Thank you. Ok, so we have with where, right? With where, for example, where is the nearest supermarket? Nearest means and más cercano. So that's nearest. the nearest, nearest, más cercano, the nearest supermarket. Or if we ask, for example, where is Centro Histórico? Where is Centro Histórico? In San Salvador or in Santa Ana? San Salvador. Is, San, Salvador. Is San Salvador, excellent. San Salvador. Now, where is, eh, let me see, Cuevas de Moncagua? <laughs> La Unión. San Sonate, que no. Creo que es. Y se dice San Miguel. San Miguel. Yes. La Yo nunca he ido, pero me han dicho que está en San Miguel. <laughs> <laughs> They say it's in San Miguel, right? Cuevas de Moncagua. So that is in, in San Miguel. Yes, that in that very hot place, right? So it's terrible. So terrible. So in that case, we have with where. That is the, the place, the area. That is this. Now, in the case of why, you investigate the reason. I por qué, pero de investigar la razón. It is used to ask about uh, the reason, purpose, or cause. For example, why are you upset? ¿Por qué estás molesto? Why are you upset? Why are you happy? 
Why are you sad? So all of those, you investigate the reason to investigate the reason. In the case of how, you investigate the manner. It is used to ask about the method or way. Investiga el método o la manera, la manera de como uno puede estar. For example, how old are you? Like in the practice, right? You ask like, how old are you? I am 25 years old. I am 40 years old. Or how are you? You can also ask, how are you? I'm fine. I'm very good today. I'm very nice. Thank you. So you ask about the manner, the manner that you have it. Now, what about which? Do you remember which? Recuerdan como utilizamos which? Cual, exactly. This is similar than what. Just that which is more specific. Which is más specific. Como cuando tenemos más opciones de algo. You say, it is used to ask about a specific choice or selection. Se es utilizado para eh, preguntar acerca de una elección específica o una selección. Pero yo elijo algo. Right? For example, if you say, which is your favorite color? Or which is your car? ¿Cuál es tu carro? Which is your car? Ah, it's the red car. Es el carro rojo. So you have options. You have different options there. Which is? El, which el is, which casi, casi, casi se ocupa poco, ¿verdad? Todo depende. Depende de si usted quiere investigar de, de alguna elección de algo. For example, if they ask you, which is eh, the new book? ¿Cuál es el, el, el nuevo libro? Y tenemos opciones. You can say uh -huh. the big book, the small book, the English book, the, um, the science book. So, prácticamente es para algo más en específico. Pero okay. hay como opciones. Or when okay. they give you like different telephone numbers, for example, and they give you the list. For example, like here, let me write here. Which and you have are... like this. Let's suppose that you have a list of telephone numbers. Six, five, three, three, four, one. And here we have another one. Zero. Okay. You have options. You have three options here. In these three options, you can tell me which is your telephone number. ¿Cuál? ¿Cuál es su número de teléfono? O sea, ¿cuál de las opciones que mostramos acá? Uno de ellos debe de ser. O tal vez ninguno de ellos. It's possible, right? So you say, which is your telephone number? You have three telephone numbers here. And so you can say, ah, my telephone number is, and how do you pronounce? Juan Alberto, can you pronounce, please? The telephone number, number one. How do you pronounce this telephone number? Seven? Seven, six, four, uh -huh. five, three, three, four, one. Four, one. That's correct. What about the second telephone number? Blanca. Blanca Rosa. Seven, seven, eight, nine, eight, nine, oh, oh. That's correct. Yeah, remember you can say two forms, right, with the numbers. O, 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 zero, zero. Two forms are correct. Zero, zero. zero. That's mm -hmm. correct. Good one. Gabriela, the third number. Nine, zero, eight, seven, six, six, five, four. Five, four. That's correct. So you can add, hey, I have a list of telephone numbers here. Which is your telephone number? So you indicate which is in a specific of the group of the options that you have, you mention the correct one or the specific number. Questions about this? Questions, questions? Pregunta? Yes. Yes. Ahí es como para cuando tenemos diferentes opciones. Exactly. Uh -huh. oh. Que alguien nos investiga. Oh. ¿Y, ¿Y cuál es tu número? Tengo una lista ahí. ¿Cuál es el tuyo? Uh -huh. específico, diferente a cuando nos preguntan what's your telephone number y la persona no sabe, quiero saber y no tiene las opciones so which is más específico that's more specific. Which, which entonces es cuando tengamos así como, como tres o más, más de una opción directamente más de una opción y quiere saber cuál de las opciones de las que ya se sabe es la que necesita saber es más específico Miss Yes. 
En todas esas preguntas que aparecen ahí, aparecen H, eh, perdón, WH. Ajá. Yes. Pero ¿por qué en, en esa? Ajá, esa, ¿por qué no aparece WH? Like together. <ríe> Porque esta, aunque no vaya en orden, aunque no vaya WH junta, pero siempre ya da WH. The H is here and the W is here. Esta uh, más específico es una how word question. How word. Porque hay varias. Hay varias con how. Por ejemplo, how old are you? And also, how are you? How often? Que es otra variación de how. Pero siempre investiga la manera. La manera de cómo uno está. La manera de cómo realiza algo. Pero siempre lleva WH. Siempre me algo, Miss. algo en específico. Thank you. Any other question? Una pregunta. Yes, Blanca. Eh, eh, como le mencioné al principio, yo no, no se puede decir que de poquito que se va dando la clase se va aprendiendo un poquito, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Este, pero a mí me cuesta mucho, mucho. <ríe> Créame, este, porque mis hijos a veces sí me, nomás yo agarro una llamada de ellos, me dice, hold, al, al, hola, ¿cómo es que se pronuncia? Hold, are, are you? Que es un ah, como está, mean, ¿verdad? No, that is how are you. Ah, es, no, no es how, how are, are you? me dice. Oh, oh, how la cosa es que no, you, no se me... Sí, o, o qué estás haciendo, cuál es la palabra. Ah, ok. If you investigate, si quiere investigar, uh -huh. ¿cómo estás? Es how are you. Uh -huh. Y contestamos, well, you can say, oh, hay, hay diferentes maneras, right? I'm fine. Uh -huh. I'm fine, thank you. Eh, I'm great. Estoy genial. I'm very good. Pero si es uh -huh. este de acá, investiga la edad. How old are you? Uh -huh. How old no, are you? pero... Eh, ellos me dicen, me quieren preguntar qué hago, qué estás haciendo. Ah, okay. Ah, wow. Then they okay. ask you, what are you doing? What are you doing? Ajá, eso, Ajá. pero a mí no se, me queda, no, me que, no se practice. me queda. It's just practice. You need to practice. It's the only manner you can. Look, here, how are you? I'm fine. ¿Cómo estás? Ajá. Estoy Ajá. bien. I'm fine. Ajá. Then if you are, esas dos son bien similares. Sí. Um, like how are you and how old are you how old are you uh -huh. yeah that tienes uh -huh. sí. you say I am 20 years old I'm 25 I'm 30 I'm 40 but what are you doing ya es una well, variación uh, well, de what uh -huh. y este es otro tiempo es cuando uh -huh. uno está realizando una actividad en el momento ¿eh? ¿qué estás haciendo? Uh -huh. what are you doing uh -huh. uh, so you can answer uh, I'm watching TV Uh -huh. I'm watching TV. Estoy viendo tele. So, son acciones que te están realizando en el momento. Sí. Uh -huh. So, what are you doing? Pero hay otra manera de preguntar también: ¿Cómo estás? Es otra variación. How are, How are you are doing? Doing. Doing. Uh -huh. doing. Es como: How are you? Oh, y I'm es sure. como un poquito más común también que se utiliza en, en las conversaciones. How are you doing? Uh -huh. Es sí. igual, ¿cómo te va? Uh -huh. Pero a veces no pronuncian el are, sino que solo se van como, uh -huh. how are you doing? How are you, uh -huh. how you doing? Hey, ¿Cómo te va? Sí. ¿Cómo te está yendo? How are you doing? Y la respuesta también puede variar. Puede ser, I'm fine, I'm great. I'm great. It's not bad. No está mal. I'm very good. Entonces, son otras formas de preguntar cómo estás. Sí. Pero para preguntar qué estás haciendo, este, en ese momento es what are you doing? What? Uh -huh. I'm watching TV. I am eating. Estoy comiendo. I am playing. Uh -huh. Estoy jugando. Uh -huh. I am writing, estoy escribiendo, estoy leyendo. I am talking on the phone. So okay. they are actions, actions in the moment. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thanks. Ahora ya vas a ver cómo va a responder, right? Sí, <laughs> yes. So they ask you, hey, what are you doing, mom? 
Ah, what you did? I am studying English. Yes. <laughs> So, depending yes. on the action, right, that you're doing, I am studying. Y siempre la acción que esté haciendo siempre le va a colocar ING, ¿verdad? ING, correcto. Cuando sea una acción que esté realizando en el momento. En el momento, ajá. Uh -huh. Exactly. Watching, studying, reading, eating. Eating. Ah, correct. Writing. Drinking. Drinking coffee. Drinking water. But that is actually in the moment. Okay. Mm -hmm. Any other question? No more questions? Teacher, dos preguntas. Tell me. Eh, la primera, este, hasta ahorita, hasta, hasta dónde nos, está, nos están evaluando lo, lo que hemos visto hasta esta lección. Hasta acá, sería hasta 3.9, que es lo que hemos visto hasta hoy. Dejamos pendiente este de Hus. Lo vamos a continuar mañana. Y vamos a hacer otras prácticas de esto, pero hasta ahora hemos llegado hasta el punto 3.9. Ok, los, los, las, eh, los ejercicios anteriores, si no lo hemos terminado todavía, todavía los podemos complementar. Sí, todavía los pueden complementar, porque esta es parte de la sección 3. Ok. Uh -huh. Y lo todavía otro es ir. de eh, todavía, todavía sí nos vamos a seguir conectando, ¿verdad? Hasta de, de esa semana. Exactly, yes. Ok. Uh -huh. A ese mismo horario, hasta ahorita, pues es lo que nos han eh, indicado. Ok, perfecto. De lunes a viernes y de 8 a, eh, perdón, de 9 a 10. Ok. Uh -huh. Okay, so Otra much. pregunta, este, yes, para la confirmación de las, del segundo módulo, todavía no lo han mandado, ¿verdad? Porque ya mandamos, lo, bueno, yo creo que ya mandamos los correos, pero no ha habido confirmación, no sé si... Como ellos sí. se tardan, ellos se tardan, pero les voy a preguntar de nuevo a ellos. Ok, sí, porque yo mandé el correo y le, y le puse que si me podían confirmar si estaba correcto, porque hay veces uh -huh. yo creo que me equivoqué en, la, en el primer correo y volví a reenviarlo. Ajá. Ok, uh -huh. voy a consultarle eso de nuevo. Ok, muchas gracias. Thank you very much. More questions? Any other questions, guys? Yo quería decir que si me pueden reenviar el enlace de... De, de la plataforma es que mi teléfono no se me arruina. Ah, oh, ok, no problem. I send it to you. I send it in the group. Se lo voy a enviar en el grupo. Vaya, gracias. All right. Yes. Y, okay. Teacher, usted mira, usted mira los chats cuando se los enviamos. Cuando the estamos chat. así como en vivo. Ah, fíjese que a veces sí los logro ver. Sí, ahorita tengo ah. de Sandra Guadalupe que, que avisó. Ajá. Sí, es que sí, sí, varios sí. habían escrito, varios habían escrito en el chat, pero de repente como que da error abrirlos y no sé si usted los puede visualizar. Sí, a veces sí, solo que a veces se como que se congela. Ajá, da como, da como un error de repente. Exacto. Pero sí, aquí, aquí los tengo. Tengo de Ariel, de Santa Guadalupe, de Rafael. Y sí, de ellos. Sí, de Alejandro. Uh -huh. Xochitl está levantando la mano. Xochitl, yes, Xochitl, tell me. Uh, thank you, Alberto. Um, quería preguntarle si van a tomar en cuenta la semana esta de vacación como, como mes del curso o no. Siempre se, lo que nos habían mencionado es que se salta a la, a la siguiente, porque como no se vio esa semana, Solo toman en cuenta eh, lo del lunes, ¿verdad? Porque fue la, el día. O sea, que, que estaríamos como en la clase. semana 2. Ahorita estamos en la 2, exacto. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Sí. sí, porque como por la vacación, entonces sí, no, no es que se cubra el material, eh, porque no lo alcanzamos a, a cubrir eso, ese, ese día lunes, sino que sí. Ok. Hasta prácticamente las cinco semanas del módulo por la vacación. Okay. O sea que nos faltaría esta y dos más. Dos más. 
a menos que ellos nos informen algo lo contrario. Pero hasta ahora eso es lo que nos han indicado. ¿Hasta, hasta cuándo tenemos para entregar esta lección? Hasta la 3.9. Hasta el jueves. Ok. Uh -huh. Gracias. Thank you. Thank you. Any other question? Comments? Me. Yes. Yo en la lección 3.4. Ay, sí, me he dado duro donde llevan este como las apóstrofes de apóstrofe ajá sí es que ese a veces con los teclados ajá, ajá con los teclados o oh, hay que tener cuidado también con lo de los símbolos ajá. porque a veces no nos agarra el apóstrofe o oh, con el espaciado si digamos eh, tiene que ir justamente tiene que caber exactamente la palabra que necesita si Creo digamos que al sí. inicio uh -huh. Si sí, al inicio, Ay, sí, de... digamos, tiene si un espacio, entonces se la va a tomar como errónea y tal vez no está mal escrita, sino que es por el espacio. Un día creo que escribí en el grupo ya como a la una quizás, porque sí me estuve dando una enfermedad. Y la encontró, tanto. la encontró <risa> después. Sí, a veces es por el espacio no los Sí, voy a seguir intentándolo, Ajá. pero si no así la Lo que pasa voy a es que también si porque... lo hace directamente desde el teléfono, a error, teacher. Sí, es que hay unos símbolos que, ajá, no los agarra en el teléfono. No, pero en la computadora, la, la, ahí solo en ahí la computadora trabajo, ¿no? Ajá. Sí, sí. estaba intentando ajá. desde el teléfono algunas opciones. Sí. Es o que veces, yo les, les coloqué ahí también en el chat que lo que podían hacer era descargar el teclado de Google, uh -huh, porque uh -huh. ese sí es el más adaptado, porque sí, a mí también me dio ese problema y no, 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 no daba, pues. No daba, ajá, no daba, sí, aunque Entonces, esté bien escrita la palabra. ¿verdad? El problema era el apóstrofe, porque hay unos teclados que lo tienen de una forma el apóstrofe en dirección y otros que lo tienen cabalito así, y el de Google Exacto. sí lo tiene lo tiene, exacto. lo tiene exacto. Y ahí sí empezaron a salirme buena. Ajá. Sí, entonces ese era el detalle. <ríe> lo vamos a tomar en cuenta, entonces. Yes. Gracias. <ríe> Thank you. All right, guys. Then we are going to continue tomorrow with this, okay? Okay. Have a very good night. Good night. Good, good night. night. Good night. Good Take night. care. Good See you tomorrow. tomorrow. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Good night. 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 Good